Last week, we brought you the news that the Military Aviation Museum in Tangmere was to host an exhibition of Polish and Czech pilots who flew during the Battle of Britain. The battle itself was the first major campaign fought entirely by air, seeing the Royal Air Force defend the British Isles from the German invasion. It would be a decisive victory, but one that would not have been achieved without the courage of the international pilots, many from countries that had already fallen to the Nazi war machine. So I visited the museum to find out more. From the 10th of July 1940, for a period of three months and three weeks, pilots from the Royal Air Force would do battle in the skies to fend off the German Luftwaffe. The Battle of Britain for many was the last bastion of hope against a seemingly unstoppable war machine. And when Britain claimed victory, it'd be in no small part thanks to the contribution of courageous pilots from other countries. The Polish and the Czechs uh, left their countries because they were overrun by the Germans and now they made their way eventually to, to Britain most of them by, via France, uh, to, to continue the fight. In fact, the Polish called Britain the island of last hope. During the Battle of Britain, we had enough aeroplanes, we had enough Spitfires and Hurricanes, but they were short of pilots. And at that time, the newly formed Polish and Czech squadrons came online. And one of the squadrons, of course, 303 Squadron, which happened to be a Polish squadron, became the highest scoring Allied fighter squadron in the Battle of Britain with 126 victories in six weeks. September the 15th, known as Battle of Britain Day, was a very busy day for the fighter command. One in five of those pilots were either Polish or Czech. For the exhibition, the museum has redressed some of their existing displays, as well as some that have never been seen before. This is a hurricane replica. It's normally in number one squadron colours, but for the exhibition, We've actually marked it as the number 303, a Polish squadron, and we've marked it as Joseph Frantisek's aircraft. He was the highest scoring Allied fighter pilot in the Battle of Britain, and he wasn't Polish, he was Czech, but he flew with the Polish. And in the month of September, he shot down 17 aircraft. Sadly, on the 8th of October, he mysteriously crashed. Nobody knows why. He's probably just exhausted. We've got uh, a very, very good model of a pilot called Cutterwasher, his aircraft, which was a, a hurricane which he flew in 1942. And we're unveiling a picture of one of his successors when he shot down three enemy aircraft in 1942 over San André in France because he was a night intruder. So he went over German airfields at night looking for the bombers returning. And on that particular day, the bombers were returning from having bombed cows on the Isle of Wight. And he got into the circuit and he shot down three of them before they realised what was happening. Eventually he shot down 15 enemy aircraft in three months. So he's the most uh, successful night fighter, but he was Czech. Firm, we have the medals, the real medals of Stanislav uh, Fejfar, who was uh, Czech and sadly was killed uh, after the Battle of Britain. But he served in the Battle of Britain and he fought in France as well in the Battle of France. But uh, in 1943, sadly, he was uh, shot down and killed. And now more than ever, how important is it for us to remember these forgotten heroes of the skies? Well, it is important for community relations. I mean, most of us, and certainly myself, until I started researching it, didn't know a lot about the Polish contribution. And I'm sure the Polish that live here, and the Czechs, probably don't realise just how important their compatriots were. 303 Squadron still exists back in Poland, and they're flying MiG jet fighters. But interestingly, recently, they've put, um, they've put uh, pictures on their tails, and the pictures are faces of those 303 Squadron pilots who flew in the Second World War, some of the famous ones. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.